Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful nightmare tips within 5 minutes. It's December, you know what that means, I have a right to wear my Christmas hat. <laughs> it's even snowing outside, the mood is up, but today I want to show you how you can make a glitching character in my animator. Let's begin! Now this technique is done after you finished your animation, so first off you gotta animate everything in your scene, and do this at the very end. Also, this is gonna involve us changing the color of the object, so select everything below your main folder and make it inherit color, so you can change the color of the entire character at once. That might pose a few problems with more complex rigs. I don't know the solution, you're gonna have to manually change the color to all of the different parts, but that's that. Now I want you to duplicate your object twice. So right now I have three Steves walking in a line. Make these two invisible. And the first Steve, click on the multiply white. You can toggle colors by clicking this icon here. This one needs to be red. The second Steve needs to be completely green. Make sure your green is green. Red is zero, green is 255, and blue should also be zero. This is the correct green. And the third Steve should be completely blue. Red zero, green zero, blue 255. We have layered our character into the RGB values. Now this looks wonky, obviously. That is why we need to change the blend modes of our characters. Let's take the red Steve as the base. Leave this one as it is. The green Steve should have a blend mode of screen and to prevent the glitches you should raise the render depth by one. As you see, the green character has blended onto the red one. Let's do the same with the blue one. Blend mode screen and it works fine, but just in case, let's raise the render depth also to one to prevent any glitches. Now the green and the blue are both on one. That doesn't matter because they have a blend mode and they're blending together. So if you take the RGB values and blend them by screen, you get the original image. What the blend mode screen does is it takes the values of the two layers, in this case the pixels on my grass block as well as in the background, it takes the values, it inverts them, then multiplies them and inverts them again. It's the opposite effect of the multiply effect. It makes your image brighter, eliminates the blacks, and if you merge together red, green and blue, you get white. That's how colors mix. You don't need to know about that. What you you need to know is that we have three different color steves red green and blue which are blended together to give you an image of one they are all animated because we copied the already animated character and if i want to glitch at this point just make a keyframe for all of them make a keyframe again so we don't miss the initial points now i can do now is simply move the entire character up give it some transitions and if you play this the character starts glitching because we are offsetting all the three steves that have a different blend mode and from then all you gotta do is animate them that's all this works with items textures and literally anything as long as you can get the correct values here because sometimes you modify the colors and you don't get the same results that's worthy to note you just need three of them with the correct rgb values set the blend mode render depth overlay them and animate the offset it works with anything now that is all for me today hope you learned something new and i've got another glitch tutorial coming up because it's very similar but in a different way once again thank you for watching you can sure support the channel by dropping a like and hit the bell for more content like this and happy animating and happy holidays see you next time stay sharp